Hello folks, welcome to the canal channel Jose. Today we're gonna show you, give you an idea how to replace or change the oil on a manual transmission on a 91 to a 94 Toyota Tercel. We're gonna be using three quarts of oil and the oil that we'll be using is Lucas and this is the oil that we're using. We're using Lucas, this is for transmissions and differentials and then we're using 80 90 weight you can use 75 90 but we're using 80 90 and this is lucas we had really good experience with this oil so we're going to be needing three quarts of this oil for this um, once we drain out the other oil also we're going to be using a 24 millimeter socket with a half inch drive and then we're going to show you the points that you got to take off so you can do this job so it's a 24 millimeter socket and there's two there's a drain and the the inlet and one thing i can i want to say folks before you start draining the oil on this transmission this is for manual transmission not for automatic manual transmission okay and the other thing is that you wanna before you start draining the oil of this transmission you want to be able to take off the fill up point on this transmission because if you don't do that and you don't verify that the inlet is going to be good to go you don't want to mess with that drain point. If you cannot take off the inlet, you don't want to mess with that drain point because once you drain that fluid out, you're going to be having a hard time putting in some oil on this transmission. So you always, always take the fill up point first. And then once you do that, you then you can drain your oil because once you drain the oil and you can take the fill up point, you have a lubrication problem you cannot drive your car and then you gotta figure out how you're gonna fill that point the transmission up to that normal level with oil so with that we'll show you how we do it we have lift our car we have tilted just a bit more from the driver's side than the passenger side so we are higher on the passenger side and we're gonna put an oil pan underneath to catch the oil and then but before we do that, we got to make sure that we have your inlet point out and then you can drain the gear oil out. So with that, let's show you how we do this. Okay, folks, so we have our fill up point here and our drain point right here by the axle for manual transmission. And what we want to do before we take up our drain point, we want to take up our fill up point. So we take this guy off, we loosen it, we make sure we are able to put fluid in and then we can take the drain point out and get our liquid out. So we do that. Okay, folks, so now that we have verified that we can, we have loosened the inlet point of the fluid for the transmission, we can continue and take our drain point out. So we, this is the first critical point because we want to be able to put in fluid before we drain it out. One thing we want to say, folks, is that you want to pay attention when you start taking this drain point out when the fluid starts coming out you want to pay attention what color it is if it's honey color if it's a uh, silver what kind if it's any metal shavings this is going to tell you a lot about your transmission so when you take that off you want to make sure you look at what how that oil is coming out So we are draining our fluid out or gear oil and this is telling us uh, the color of the gear oil is telling us a lot about our transmission. So once we drain all that out. Okay folks so now that we have drained all the fluid out of the transmission now we put our plug or drain plug back on and then we can start putting our fluid back in. Okay, folks, so before now you got the, the drain point put on and then now you got to put the fluid back into the transmission. What we recommend is that you lower your car if you had it lifted, lower it to ground level. So when you lower your car and then you start feeding the oil, it's going to be more accurate reading. There's no stick or anything that you can do a reading. That per, the reading is going to be that once you fill up the transmission, it's going to be about three three almost three quarts of oil so when you have the oil coming out of the transmission just on the lowest point of that fill up point if it starts coming out of there slowly then that means that the level is good it has to reach the minimum the low point on the fill up point so 
once you pull the hose out and you start seeing that there's no more oil going into it then you just you know that it that lowest point on the fill up point when it starts coming out of there that's the that's the good reading so then now we put the oil into the transmission okay folks so we're gonna have to feed the the oil from the top and then for that we got our fill up point right there and we're gonna run a hose to that hole and then we're gonna feed it from the top because there's no space for our oil container to fit in there and we can tilt it. So we're gonna show you how we do that. So you can get an idea of what's happening. This is the bottom of our transmission and this is where our fill up point is. And what we have done is we have run a clear hose or you can run any hose into the fill up point. We can fill up the oil into the transmission from the top because there's no point or there's no way you can tilt a container down here so we're using it as a guidance so we go and fill it up now so this is just to give you an idea of what we're doing so now we get our oil ready so we remove the tip cover we cut this plastic off and then we also have to remove the seal on our bottle so we can let the oil come out of the bottle if the bottle is not sealed want to make sure that when you buy the oil that the bottle is sealed So now we grab our hose and then we start pouring the oil into the hose so we can start filling up our transmission. You want to take your time doing this. It's going to be about two and, a two and a half quarts of oil that is going to be in this transmission. And the reason we're using a clear hose is because we can see how much oil is going in and how is the oil draining into the transmission and that's telling us a lot about this uh, oil coming going into the transmission so if uh, this is the method we're using and we found better because we can just do a gravity feed and then with a clear clear hose we can see how much oil and when it stops and it starts coming up on the hose Okay, folks, so now to know what the level is when it's up to the good level on oil, what we do is we got to find out, we pull the hose out, and as you can see, there's some oil coming out of the transmission. So now that means that the, our level is good. The level is all the way up to the lowest point on the drain point, which is the good level. So now we take our hose off and put the fill that point back in and that should be finished or process on replacing this oil. So now what's left to do is we just tighten the bolt or fill up point and then we should be done. So remember not to over tighten this bolt or this plug because this is aluminum housing and this is a steel so it's going to strip the threads on the aluminum. So you just want to tighten it and give it a good snug and it should be good. And well folks this was an idea how to replace or change the oil in the manual transmission on 91 to a 94 Toyota Tercel. And for that we use three quarts almost. It's just barely the bottom of the last bottle with some oil. The most important part about this is that you got to make sure that you remove the fill up point before you remove the drain point because it's very important that you got to be able to put fluid back in when you when you drain the oil fluid out so always start by trying to remove the fill up point before you move to the drain point another thing is that uh, we use the method of the hose from the top so it just worked for us better and the only level that you're looking for on this manual transmission is that you got to be able to have some oil come out from the fill up point so that means that it has reached the lowest point on the fill up point then you can put everything back together so with that said if you haven't subscribed to our channel please do and if you like this video give us thumbs up share it and we'll see you soon with more videos here in the canal del channel jose